That's good news because you can take time to prepare for tomorrow morning. Pete's tracking what's headed our way. Hi, Pete. Hey, good morning to you, Brian. And that is one thing on our side. It's because this uh, week the commute a little quieter than most because of the holidays. So hopefully not too many people on the road tomorrow for this messy mix, which is on the way. Now, the unfortunate part of the timing is that if you do have to go to work tomorrow morning, that's when the worst of this stuff will be. You can see from about 1 a.m. to 4 o'clock in the morning, a mixture of snow and sleet coming down. And I think pretty much everybody will see at least a brief period of that. From 4 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the morning, the snow sleet mixture changes over to rain and freezing rain. And it's the freezing rain I'm actually a little more concerned about that than the actual snowfall. Freezing rain off, uh, often can sneak up on you. Can't actually see it sometimes when you get that thin layer of ice on the roads, on the bridges, on the overpasses. So that's something we'll have to watch carefully into tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. to noontime, it's pretty much rain, but there still could be some sleet and freezing main tra rain trying to mix through, especially north and west of 295. And then during the afternoon, it's plain old rain showers. So. On the eyewitness news threat tracker, we keep you in the low category for today, tonight, and then tomorrow we put you in the medium category because of that wintry mix. A beautiful scene here in Narragansett. We've had clouds streaming in all morning long, but just enough in the way of clear skies to produce these nice colors in the background with some of that sunshine. Looking fairly sunny at the Braga Bridge here in Fall River, and our temperatures continue to stay right around the freezing mark or just above in spots. 34 in Smithfield, 36 Providence, 36 in Westerly, but you factor in the wind, which right now is pretty busy at around 15 miles an hour in Providence and in Newport. That's going to make it feel like the upper 20s this morning. Windshield staying around freezing throughout the day, despite the fact that we will get some sunshine. Notice there are some clouds streaming through, but plenty of clear spots as well in the satellite picture, and that will produce that cloud sun mixture throughout the day, although mostly sunny by around lunchtime. Despite the sunshine, it's going to be hard to warm things up. So 38 your actual temperature for today with some of those gusts around 25 miles an hour from the north. I'm going to fast forward now to midnight. Notice the blue representing some initial bands of snow, especially here in northern Rhode Island and northern Bristol County. And then this is 3, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. The blue and the pink indicating that sleet snow mixture. Even down at the south coast for Westerly Charlestown, you could briefly see the snow sleet mixture. However, look how quickly we change things over. 8 o'clock in the morning, Westerly Newport Jamestown, you are plain old rain showers. Still hanging on to some sleet, maybe a little bit of snow in northern Rhode Island at 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's pretty much a mixture of uh, sleet changing over to rain here around the Providence area. Then by noontime, we're looking at just the rain showers. So again, it's the messy roads, the potential of some of that ice on the roads that will be a bigger issue than I think the actual amount of snow. Now I am forecasting around one to three inches north and west of Providence for you in uh, Pasco, Smithfield, North Smithfield, Woonsocket. Stay tuned to TJ's Futurecast. This part is very uncertain still. A change in track could dramatically change that part of the forecast. Providence down to the south coast looking at around a coating. We get the snow falling but tough to stick on the pavement. Seven day Futurecast brings in some uh, rain showers by Wednesday night into Thursday, but New Year's Eve night should be dry. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com.